This. All right, there we go. This, there this, it is. I, I know that I speak for myself, and I probably speak for a lot of people here. I can't wait for this because I think it's amazing, and I think it's perfect to finally see horror reach out into the DC brand. Uh, yeah. The fact that those can connect now. The DC gaming brand, all. I mean, for me, this is like a dream come true. As a horror fan, I got the horror tattoos, but anybody that knows me knows I'm an avid gamer, too. So this is like the marriage of both worlds for me. It's, I think it's so exciting, the fact that you can go to a horror event and Arkham Asylum is there. That's, that's pinnacle for, for me and I think a lot of people. So what can we expect from Escape from Arkham Asylum? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, because we are basing this on the DC game, uh, we're really going on an atmospheric adventure. It's all about the atmosphere. It's that twisted, deep, winding adventure that you go on when you when you kind of delve into that storyline for the game. Um, we are really leaning on Joker. Joker is going to uh, help us out and kind of uh, invite us in. And the what we really like about this so much is that a lot of times in haunts, when you have a maze or an asylum or an asylum or a jail setting, a lot of times the plot is, oh, well, you're going there for some reason, you're going on a visit or something, and then whoops, everything goes wrong, and now the inmates are running the asylum. You're not a visitor here. You are an Arkham inmate. So you basically go to trial, the Joker deems you nefarious enough to be locked up in the Arkham Asylum, you hear those gates close behind you, and it is you as an inmate on your own trying to make your way through this asylum, which is a lot of fun, and it's really deep, deep and twisted, and um, just as the Joker, or the Jokers are judge and jury, and uh, he might, uh, I'm not going to say too much, he might uh, sentence you there, but he also might help you break out. So we will have to, we'll leave it at that, and uh, we're relating to that Joker, but we see a lot of other favorite characters along the way as well. I want to hug you, because <laughs> I'm so it's, excited. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, another, cool thing, in the, in the another cool thing about it is, and, and Danny spoke about it, you know, the, the, the smaller numbers that we're trying to keep this to, and uh, being able to have a little bit more intimate uh, experience, you'll have a little bit more time to explore through there. We've got some things that you kind of can't do in traditional mazes, and things that'll switch up and kind of different different versions of the maze kind of multiple times as you as you pass through. Yeah, That's one, thing, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, one thing that Caroni and um, Bonnie you told us the other day when we were talking and this is really theater in the round. Why don't you talk exactly about that? Exactly what I was about bit. to say. Yeah, we keep kind of throwing that around a lot. And it, it is it is a gift, you know, so there's so many attractions around uh, Halloween, uh, you know, in, in Los Angeles and all of them are wonderful in each in each their own way. And this one, um, like we keep saying, it's going to be small. It's going to be intimate. And uh, because of that, it allows us to do what we are kind of calling theater in the round. Our actors can move around a little bit. We don't, we're not going to have conga lines that are going through mazes. Our actors can move around a little bit. They can scare you in different locations. They can move throughout the maze. Um, it, it is a, you know, it's a different intimate Halloween experience. I think something I've been saying too is, uh, you know, last year, the authenticity that we bring, the storytelling that we bring from as a studio tour, we, we, we obviously insert that into, into horror made here. But for the Conjuring Maze last year, I knew where all the scares were. I mean, I knew who was coming out of the wall when, but it was different every time, and I jumped every single time. I knew when things were gonna happen, and it just scared the hell out of me. Yeah, it's actually it's actually interesting. Um, I, I was with Dark Harbor for many, many years, and still love them and represent, and will be, and will be there. I cannot wait to see it. And um, uh, when we first started doing meetings about this, and we were listening to kind of some of the scares that you guys did last year and that we're planning for this year, I was like, oh no, that won't work. And it's like, yes, it will work, because it's so intimate and small. It, you're really getting a show, and it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. 